Uh, hello out there in YouTube land. This is Anthony Devlin alongside James Price bringing you another great DWI match. We've got the DWI original himself, Rick Hardbody Roberts, against one of our new competitors, Romeo. Now, these two guys don't have any like heat between each other, it's just a book match. Oh, but Romeo, he, he's very competitive, he likes to win. So it doesn't matter if they're friends or not. He's taking it to the limit every time. That's nice. That was a very nice uh, explosive drop kick. Rick Roberts just tossing off. Shots to the face again. It's a uh, solid strategy. So was that. Got a uh, waist lock. I don't know. Uh, Go behind waist lock. That's not really going to work out too well for Romeo. I guarantee Nice uh, ballerina spin to take him off. This is not met as an insult, but Rick Roberts is like the Marvel character, The Blob. He absorbs the energy and directs it back at you. You look at this guy, you would not think he's anywhere near as athletic as he is. He is very spry for a man his size. And this is a very interesting... Trying to take him off his feet? That was a bit. That Use was the ropes as leverage on his knee and bring him down. A little uh, springboard action. Made him split his pants. He's on the ropes. The referee finally gets him off. Romeo got a little bit of a vicious side to him. Oh, no. Oh, these these two clowns. Oh, wow. You the know referee what? Referee not calling for the bell. They're being cheered for this. The Rebel Gorilla is once again interfering in Romeo's matches. I, I, I honestly, we should have seen this coming. Oh, oh. they, they, they let the fact that Rick Roberts was down slip. He's got double clothesline for their troubles. But I think they accomplished what they wanted to, and it was another running beatdown on Romeo. Ever since this guy has come oh, here, these. Have, this, Oh, uh, it seems that this one-on-one -on -one match has been turned into a tag team match. The voice of DWI has spoken. I think they just thought they were going to get away with just coming in and beating up on Romeo this week and having an easy day, but uh, for their trouble now, they have to come out here and it's a tag team match. Oh, so now they're told that if they don't compete in this tag match, that they won't be competing in DWI ever again. So I think they have one of two options. Yeah, quite the ultimatum there. Well, these guys have been running roughshod a little bit too long here, and it seems like somebody in the back has finally taken uh, the bull by the horns, or the gorilla by the banana, if you will. I just made that one up. Did it work? Yes, right. it did. Thank you, okay. Lightning Monroe uh, taking his sweet time getting into the ring. Oh, well, that's just, that's... Romeo all, Romeo apparently has uh, recovered enough to be all fired up again. Ah. Neither one of them seeming too eager to get in there, huh? No, I, oh, no, Light, Lightning Monroe deciding he'll start things off. I am very excited to see this, and I'm sure Romeo is actually more excited than I am to finally get his hands on these two. <laughs> and, uh, Lightning Monroe not uh, very happy that he has to compete today. <laughs> so uh, let's get this uh, started. <laughs> Romeo just having his way with uh, Lightning Monroe right now. Nice uh, hammer lock into a headlock and big shoulder tackle. Lightning finding himself on his back. 
Oh. oh. Well. I can't blame him for that. Well, he did just come in and jump him from behind, so I guess. Oh, Ooh. beautiful drop kick delivered right to the jaw of Lightning Monroe. Got the two count, Lightning Monroe, big kick it. Getting out of there, not getting a pin on him. Kicking out at two. Got a little double team action. <laughs> oh, that is a big elbow coming down. I think Rick Roberts was uh, expecting something like that. Is an interesting pin. Now, see, that doesn't seem like much if it wasn't a 550 pound man doing it to you. Again, 550 pounds on your chest. <laughs> You can't breathe. That's a oh, Dave Nogara is sleeping on the big man. I don't He's got him by the nose. He's rigging him up by the nostrils. Okay. Rick Roberts having a little fun with Mr. Guevara there. He, he, oh, yeah, he yanked his nose. Rick Roberts is toying around with this guy, but that's got to hurt. And the... Uh, is he gonna make him say uncle? Is he gonna do it? What's he going for here? Interesting. He did a Northern Lights suplex without the suplex part. <laughs> yeah. Innovative, right? Yeah, very. And, and choking him out just by leaning. Just, just, and show, giving a bit of a flex and a tag. Uh. Uh, Romeo, oh, oh, very nice. You see, Dave Guevara want none of that. And uh, Romeo wanting all of that. Lightning coming in the hard way. Yeah, see, he could have came in under his own steam, but no. Oh, there you go, and that's what the Rebel the Gorillas do best. Now. They work together. This is a, a, one of the oddest couples ever in DWI. But again, they they have they work together unlike any other team who's been here. And that and says a lot. I mean, it really does. The, the Romeo and Rick Roberts have never tagged together. Meanwhile, the Rebel Gorillas have been together for about two years yeah, now. Going on two years, they've developed quite the relationship. Well, maybe about yeah, about two years. Quite, quite the report. Oh, oh, that was a very nice kick. Romeo and uh, Dave, this is something we've been waiting to see here at DWI for the past couple months. From what I can tell from Lightning Row, apparently this all started because Romeo did not want to shake Dave's hand, and I. Why? Well, I he felt they felt disrespected. He, he, you know, he was new to the place. They tried to ingratiate him. Beautiful double arm suplex. Done. Um, there you go. I can't get it out. Never mind. You guys, you know what it is out there, right? <laughs> yeah. But uh, they just wanted to welcome him. Try to ingratiate him. Bring him into the fold. You know, they saw someone they thought that they could. They had some in common with. Then Romeo just. Right from Jump Street was like, yeah, get up the street with you. I don't like you cats. You cats are uh, not the kind of people I uh, oh want to associate with. And that was quite impressive by uh, Mr. Guevara there. They yeah. they took it personally, and uh, here we are today still. Yeah. Uh, some people might call that an overreaction to come out and beat on a man because he didn't want to shake his hand, but ooh. Lovely double suplex. I referee apparently just letting all this double teaming happen, not counting anybody. But again, re wrestlers are very emotional individuals. Uh, they, they they definitely uh, let the emotions get the best of them, and when they feel slighted, it's it usually takes a long time before they get over it. Usually, you tend to be the the recipient of someone's. Undivided attention until some other poor sucker is <laughs> the recipient of their undivided attention. And right now, that just happens to be Romeo. The uh, knee to the back of the head going into a choke. That's got to hurt. Idle hands, you know. Yeah. And, uh, lightning went out. Interestingly enough, not choking Romeo when the referee wasn't looking. I, I expected. Uh, I expected that from him.
when he's trying to turn over a new leaf. Oh, a nice little reverse into a schoolboy. Big, big clothesline, though. I, I don't think Romeo was recovered as uh, much as he thought he was from that beatdown earlier. That I think that that uh, pin attempt was more of a reflex to what was happening. Oh, oh, standing on the knee. That ah, it's very mean. That is. But again, I think that's what attracted these two to each other. Uh, Dave Dave Guevara has quite the mean streak in him, and Lightning Monroe certainly uh, no stranger to mean streaks. He's an angry man, angry hairy man. He's a uh, definitely a very angry, angry bear. And go oh, that laydown kick is it? That's very interesting because normally in wrestling you do not want to go to your back because that's how you get pinned, but. Romeo making the best of a bad situation. Let's, 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 uh, oh, oh, I thought he was going to get the Enziguri on him, but... uh. Some Donnie Yen movies he's been watching. Yeah. His leg sweep. We got a, uh, Barring the leg there. Got a nice leg submission. Hey, that's, a smart, that's a smart plan against Romeo. If you, if you take away his ability to fly and kick you, he, he becomes very ineffective very quickly. Also, you take a man's ability to walk away, he becomes pretty inefficient as a whole. Uh, crowd behind Romeo, though. They want him to get up. They want him to get out. Rick Roberts trying to get the crowd in there behind oh, him. Oh, just axe kicking him in the face from his back. Okay. And that's one way. Come on, Romeo. Rivera doing it. the smart thing, immediately tagging out. Roha <laughs> and Lightning coming in with a double axe handle to the back of the head. Alright. And oh Romeo stopping himself short so he could kick Monroe in the face. And, oh Alright. Monroe very concerned for the well being of his part. And we've got the tag. Rick Roberts is in and Monroe wants uh, none of it. Oh, dropping Lightning Monroe. Again, doesn't look like much, but when you got five hundred and some odd pounds coming straight at you. It's like getting hit with a brick wall. Ever been hit by a golf cart? It hurts. It does. You will end up in a hospital. The human golf cart. Oh, oh, that was the smartest thing Dave Guevara has done all day. Now, as much as it might hurt landing on you, when there's nothing there, I'm sure that's got to hurt him. And it, it, it's got to be difficult for him to get up, too. Like, what, what's Romeo doing here? He, the gorillas are focusing on Roberts right now. Don't see... Romeo perched up in the corner. Oh, hey. Double drop kick. Introducing into his size tens. Gives a, and I'm only speculating. I don't know what the size of his feet are. Gives a, all right, what do we got going on here? I, I like that this referee is just uh, letting this double team happen. Uh, well, I think, <laughs> you know, you figure the, the Rebel Gorillas have done it numerous times. Maybe a we little. Got a, uh, we got a double submission. Double clover leaf. All right, and uh, I did see Guevara tap out, but I don't know if Monroe did Yeah, he certainly did. You can see his hand. He get a double submission, double tap out. I don't think the Rebel Gorillas thought that was going to happen to them today when they came running out there to you. No, I, uh, I thought they, you know, they were just going to come out, get a quick beat down, and leave like they always do. <laughs> and the extremely odd couple of Rick Roberts and Romeo get the victory here today. They actually worked extremely well together as a team, I must say. All right, well, for uh, Anthony Devlin, I'm James Price. You don't have to say bye for me. I can oh, say goodbye. Right. Thank you very much for me and James Price.